How's it going, Pokemon trainers? Trainer Connor here, and it is time for another Silent Moon Wi-Fi battle video. If you enjoy this, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe if you're someone new, and make sure you comment down below what you enjoy about this video. Or if you have any advice for future battles and what Pokemon I should use, all that good stuff, yeah, put those down below. I appreciate it. You don't have to. It's just a, a fun way to kind of get to people's attention, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, we have another battle today. Um, this one is against Damion, a passerby challenger. If you guys have not seen my other video from the other day, it was actually a showdown battle where I got a chance to try out Sigiwai, the grass type starter for Sun and Moon. He's pretty good. After a few test runs, I found out that Swords Dance with Sigiwai is really good, but you can also go Swiss Band. Use the Gastigium Z power. Uh, you can do all those things, but Swords Dance Life Orb is working out really well for me, in my opinion. You can argue me all you want, but yeah, his his speed is really low. Um, that's why he's not as effective as you know maybe Gastig or um Insignior or maybe Primarina. He's really slow. If they up his speed a little bit. I think he would have been a great Pokemon. He would be up in the OU tier. I, I don't know what, what tier he's in right now, but I guess UU, but he would be OU if his speed was higher. But anyway, so to pair up with the Sigui, I'll be bringing um, Klefki, Tyranitar, Lantern, Mugsdale, and Weezing. On paper, it looks really balanced, but I have a severe weakness to ground type attacks. So you look at my opponent's side, we see a Mammo Swine and he can use Earthquake. Once Weezing's out of the picture, which has Levitate, so I can dodge Earthquakes, you know, my team is really weak on, you know, on Mammo Swine's standpoint. He can just run train. Um, my opponent also has a rolling golem, which is a rock electric type. I keep forgetting it's typing all of a sudden, but I found out that it's rock electric in a rolling form. He has a Charizard, which could go mega, possibly mega Charizard S or Y. I think the most common one right now is Charizard Y. Um, he, has, he also has a Porygon Z and a Starmie. Mimikyu, which I don't know why B Mimikyu is so overpowered. Honestly, why is he not Uber? I don't know. Maybe he is. I just haven't checked the tier system in a while. But yeah, let's get into the match. I am really hyped up for this. This turned out to be a great battle. Overall, I've been having weird battles, and they're not as good as they should be. But this guy right here, Damian, gave me a great battle. So I'm going to start out with the Sigui. Because it's like, even if he starts off with, with Mammal Swine, I can hit him with a Leaf Blade. I thought he was a great uh, candidate, but he starts off with Alolan Golem. I could have gone with a Swords Dance, expecting him to go with Stealth Rock. But then it's like he could probably switch out into someone expecting a Leaf Blade or something like that. So I go with a Spirit Shackle, trap him in, and this is where things get a little bit crazy, because he has a red card, drives me to Tyranitar, take a little bit of Stealth Rock damage, which doesn't really matter in Tyranitar's case, get up my Sandstream, and I have my Leftovers, all in the same turn. How nifty is that for my opponent? But uh, this is a more specially defensive Tyranitar, I have like several Tyranitar trained up, but this is Noctrium. It's like a mixture of Nocturnal and some some sort of like stone, you know, kind of name there, Noctrium. I don't know, it just seems fitting for a Tyranitar because he's a dark type and he's a rock type as well. Anyway, so I got my Stealth thoughts and I go into Cloud expecting um, Mammal Swine, who is on the battlefield, Red flag for destruction, I guess, but he goes for knockoff. I was expecting him to go with a earthquake, 
nope, he brings the nice switching to wheezing right here. So I don't have my black sludge anymore. That's really unfortunate. Now he switches out into Starmie, which makes a lot more sense because Weezing does not have good special defense. I wanted to get a little bit of HP back, but because I went with that, he has to take Stealth Ox coming in. For those who don't know, Pain Split works if you have low HP and your opponent has full HP. And then it does the exact opposite if your opponent's HP is low and yours is high. So I wanted to make sure that my HP is really low and I can use Pain Split. I thought I could live a Scald from that range. And once again, I keep forgetting that it has terrible special defense. But that's okay. I can go with a Clef Key, paralyze the uh, Starmie. I could have done that, but I opted to use... Dazzling Gleam. This is a brand new uh, clef key. That I, I got this from Neko Steve when he used it in his uh, GBA battles. So I was like, hey, let's try this clef key out. It looks very, effect very effective. Um, it has Reflect, Thunder Wave, Spikes, and Dazzling Gleam. And that's a weird set, I know. I really should have brought Light Screen because that would have taken. I would have taken the hit a lot better, but that's neither here nor there. We uh, we do end up taking out Starmie, which is good. I can now use this as a great opportunity to um, set up a layer of spikes. His rapid spinner is gone. So it's like, yeah, I can get my, my spikes a little bit there. Unfortunately, because I have to do that, we're going to have to sacrifice Klefki in the process. And uh, yeah, like I said, we have a huge weakness to ground type attacks. Mammal Swine is really going to kick my behind throughout this whole battle. Thinking I could probably take a hit because, you know, after a stamina boost, I could really take Mammal Swine one on one. We'll go into Mudsdale. And then I really should have gone into Rock Slag in this thing. The Charizard coming in. That was really obvious, but I just go with a heavy slam boosted by the Choice Bank. It's a two hit KO, and I wanted to see what he's going to do. I really should have switched out though. But at the same time, who have I switched into? It's a bag of Charizard Y. It, it's, yeah, so basically I stay and I take a Solar Beam into the face. I'm really sorry, Mugsdale. I don't really have a good answer because Lantern wouldn't take the hit. Um, my other Pokemon, I, I don't remember what I had. That's, that's really strange. This is why you have the team preview. <laughs> uh, we do have Tyranitar. I guess Tyranitar would have taken a Solar Beam, but I would have to take the Sandstream to raise my special defense a little bit to kind of take it a lot better. But I thought for this switch for a while, it's like, is he going to switch out here? Because, I mean, I could have gone with a Stone Edge or something like that. The kind of bluff that I had that, I don't have Stone Edge. I only have Stealth Rock, Iron Head, Pursuit, and uh, one other move, but it's not Stone Edge. So, I went for the Pursuit there. Doesn't quite KO the Charizard, which sucks. He goes for another Solar Beam. Uh, I don't know why he did that, because the sun is not up, so uh, I don't know if he's trying to death fogger it or what, but... But hey, we take out Charizard, so that's fine. Tyranitar, you did really well. Um, now he's going to go back into Mammal Swine. We have no answer for this thing. It's like, how are we going to, how are we going to handle it? I do have Iron Head, so if I can manage to live a Earthquake, which I doubt I could, so we're going to have to switch out. Um, I really shouldn't have done that, though, because if he went with a Earthquake, I mean, yeah, he'd go for the Superpower, so it's a 50-50 on that. He really should have gone with an Earthquake, but, man, that was a really risky move. Um, but yeah, we got to use Lantern, which is good. I have a Choice Specs on this particular set, Choice Specs Lantern. It has Skull, Ice Beam, Thunderbolt, and Volt Switch. He goes into Golem alone for him for Death Fogger. That's fine. My guess is that he's trying to 
bring in someone fresh and then KO me from there. In this case, it's going to be Mimikyu, and I have no answer for Mimikyu because Cloud, the wheezing is gone. I can't burn it. This is why you have to keep your most wanted Pokemon throughout the whole battle, but I didn't do that. Um, the most common set that I see on Mimikyu is Source Dance Shadow Sneak, but this one is most likely Choice Band. So we could try living a hit with Tyranitar, and we do with AK HP, but I have to take out the disguise ability for Mimikyu. It's basically having a substitute from the start out, so this is why Mimikyu is so good. I was crossing my fingers for a play roughness, because if he missed it, there's a chance I could win this battle, but unfortunately, Play Rough is going to land and Tyranitar is going to go down, which means my last Pokemon is going to most likely get KO'd, which is actually the city why we haven't used him in a while. I thought I could have speed him though. Um, I was really, really tossing for a hopeful uh, hit there for Mimikyu, but you know, he attacks me instead of, you know, me attacking first. Because I thought I could, I had speed investments. So I don't know what's going on there. But uh, we lose this battle. Really fun match, though. It kind of just came down to whether I could, you know, successfully hit Mimikyu. He ends up hitting all those play roughs, and I lose the match because of it. But anyway, so if you enjoyed this battle, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. And uh, follow me on Twitter if you're into that kind of social media. Because I, I, am, I am really getting into personalizing my Twitter for a little bit. To kind of get you guys to knowing what my lifestyle is like. Um, I really need to get back to uploading battles. And I haven't really done that in like forever. So I'll hopefully get some more battles going for you guys. Until next time, have yourselves a great break. Have a great week. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a great one, China.